Tick, tock, tick, tock. The steady march of time, an ever-present companion in our daily lives, and probably the biggest contributor of stress when we think about the things we want to get done before our time runs out. From the moment we wake up to the sound of our alarm to the final glance at our watch before bedtime, we're constantly keeping tabs on those precious seconds, minutes, and hours. But have you ever wondered just how these time-telling devices actually work? How is it that a simple wall clock or the high-tech gadget on your wrist can keep such an incredibly precise time, day after day, year after year? Well, we're going to embark on a journey into the inner workings of both analog and digital clocks. We'll explore the interesting mechanisms that keep the hands of time ticking, from the intricate dance of gears and electromagnets to the high-speed oscillations of tiny quartz crystals. Along the way, we'll uncover the secrets of how these devices achieve such incredible accuracy and marvel at the ingenuity of engineers and inventors who push the boundaries of timekeeping technology. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see time in a whole new light. Let's dive right in. Before we get started though, if you like videos like this, we'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe, hit the like button, and let other people know about this video. It lets us know that the hours put into making these videos for you is time well spent. Alright, no more seconds wasted. Time is money, you know. Ah, the humble wall clock. A staple of homes, offices, and classrooms around the world. But beneath that simple exterior lies a remarkably complex system of gears, springs, and electromagnetic wizardry that keeps those hands moving in perfect synchronicity. To unravel the mysteries of the analog clock, we'll need to crack open a classic example, the ubiquitous $10 wall clock. Inside, we find a surprisingly intricate arrangement of components, each playing a crucial role in the clock's operation. At the heart of it all is the gear train, a series of interconnected gears that transfer the energy from the clock's power source to the hands on the face. The gear ratios are carefully calculated to ensure that the second hand, minute hand, and hour hand all move at the correct speed relative to one another. But what keeps these gears turning, you ask? That's where the electromagnet comes in. This little doohickey consists of a coil of wire with an iron core, and it's responsible for giving the gear train a precise nudge every second. The electromagnet is triggered by an electric current, which causes it to switch polarity and attract or repel a small permanent magnet attached to the clock's escape wheel. This back and forth action of the electromagnet is what drives the clock's hands, causing them to advance in their familiar tick-tock rhythm. Of course, no clock would be complete without a way to set the time. That's where the time-setting gear comes in. This specially designed gear allows you to manually rotate the clock's hands to the desired position without disrupting the delicate balance of the gear train. That about sums up the basic anatomy of a humble wall clock, but the real magic of timekeeping lies deeper still in the tiny quartz crystal that serves as the clock's heartbeat. To uncover this mystery, we'll need to dive even further into the world of horology. At the core of every modern clock, whether analog or digital, lies a tiny marvel of physics and engineering, the quartz crystal oscillator. This unassuming component, often no larger than a grain of rice, is the true heart that keeps our clocks ticking with astonishing precision. So what makes quartz so special? The answer lies in a fascinating phenomenon called the piezoelectric effect. Quartz is made up of a precise arrangement of silicon and oxygen atoms, forming a crystal lattice with some rather peculiar properties. When an electric current is applied to a quartz crystal, the atoms within the lattice actually shift and deform, causing the crystal to vibrate at a specific frequency. This is where the cool stuff happens. By cutting a quartz crystal into the shape of a tiny tuning fork, and applying an alternating current to it, it can resonate at an incredibly stable frequency, usually 32,768 times per second. While oddly specific, that number is chosen because it's a power of two, meaning it's easy to divide down into precise one-second intervals. But how does this vibrating quartz crystal tuning fork actually keep time? That's where the clock's integrated circuit comes in. This tiny chip contains a feedback loop that uses the quartz crystal's vibrations as a reference. The circuit essentially listens to the crystal's oscillations and keeps the rest of the clock's components in sync. Here's how it works. The quartz crystal is connected to an inverter, which amplifies and sharpens the oscillation signal. 
The signal then passes through a series of capacitors and resistors, which fine-tune the frequency and keep the oscillations stable. At the heart of the integrated circuit is a binary counter, which keeps track of the number of oscillations. Every time the counter reaches 32,768, it sends a pulse to the electromagnet that drives the clock's gear train. This pulse is what causes the satisfying tick sound we associate with analog clocks, and is also what keeps the hands moving at a steady pace. But we should keep in mind that even with the incredible stability of quartz crystals, no clock is perfect. External factors like temperature, humidity, and even the age of the crystal can cause slight variations in the oscillation frequency. This is why even the best quartz clocks might gain or lose a few seconds over the course of a month. As we've seen, the humble quartz crystal is the unsung hero of modern timekeeping. Its steady vibrations, guided by the clock's integrated circuit, form the heartbeat that keeps our analog clocks ticking with remarkable accuracy. But what about digital clocks, with their glowing displays and split-second precision? As it turns out, they too owe their timekeeping prowess to the power of quartz, but with a more high-tech twist. And to unravel that mystery, we'll need to explore the world of gigahertz frequencies and the cutting-edge electronics that make digital timekeeping possible. Get ready to have your mind twisted on this one. At the heart of every digital clock lies a tiny, high-precision oscillator, not unlike the quartz crystal we explored earlier. But here's the key difference. While analog clocks typically rely on 32,768 Hz crystals, digital clocks take it to a whole new level, with oscillation frequencies in the millions or even billions of Hz. These insanely fast oscillations are the key to the digital clock's unparalleled accuracy and versatility. But how are such rapid and stable vibrations generated? The answer lies in a clever bit of electronic engineering called a ring oscillator. A ring oscillator is essentially a loop of inverters, tiny logic gates that flip their output between high and low states. By connecting an odd number of inverters in a ring, we create a circuit that's inherently unstable, with the output constantly flip-flopping back and forth at an incredibly high speed. However, there is a caveat to this. Ring oscillator frequencies can vary wildly depending on factors like temperature, voltage, and even the specific characteristics of the inverters themselves. To tame this wild oscillation and make it suitable for timekeeping, we need a bit of electronic wizardry, the phase-locked loop, or PLL. The PLL is like a digital leash that ties the oscillator's frequency to a more stable reference, such as a quartz crystal oscillator. The PLL constantly compares the phase of the ring oscillator's output to that of the reference, adjusting the ring oscillator's frequency until the two are perfectly synchronized. The result is a high-frequency clock signal that is both stable and precise, capable of driving the complex digital circuits that power our modern timekeeping devices. But what about power consumption? Surely running a clock on such high frequencies must be a drain on the batteries, right? That's where the power of frequency dividers comes in. By using special circuits to divide down the high frequency clock signal, digital devices can run their internal components at lower, more power efficient speeds, all while still keeping incredibly accurate time. So the next time you glance at your digital watch or check the time on your smartphone, Take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering that goes into keeping our digital world running on time. Throughout our journey into the world of clocks, we've uncovered the fascinating secrets behind the devices that keep our lives running on time. From intricate gears and electromagnets of analog clocks, to the high-speed oscillations and digital wizardry of their electronic counterparts, we've seen how generations of engineers and inventors have pushed the boundaries of timekeeping technology. Next time you find yourself staring at the clock waiting for your boring class to be over, take that time to appreciate the incredible feats of engineering and physics that made it all possible. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of clocks, be sure to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Don't waste another second subscribing to our channel for more fascinating explorations of science and technology that shape our world. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and always stay curious.